President making a speech in Pittsburgh today, and I've got to assume that he went off script because he said this. And we're building a wall on the border of New Mexico. And we're building a wall in Colorado. We're building a beautiful wall, a big one that really works, that you can't get over, you can't get under. So joining me now, CNN's resident fact checker, Mr. Daniel Dale. <laughs> Sorry. Daniel. <laughs> All right. Facts first. Colorado isn't on the border with Mexico. Is not. So obviously the border wall isn't being constructed in Colorado unless there's something we don't know. Uh, but we do know that the current status of Trump's border wall, what do we know about it? Is anything new being constructed? No. So the, the last data we have from the government is through September. And that data says that 69 miles of replacement barriers had been constructed in place of what they call dilapidated and outdated barriers. But zero new miles have been built where barriers did not exist before. OK. So he told uh, another one of his what you call his sir, S-I-R, sir stories today. Let's watch this. We revoked the ridiculous waters of the United States rule. When I did that, I had people in my office. I had miners, and I had farmers, and I had builders building homes. And many of them were tough, strong men and women. And almost all of them were crying. They said, sir, you've given our life back to us. All right, so, so tough men and women crying. What is the issue with the claim? And give the lowdown on, these, on the Sir story, please. So, Don, Trump has a, a habit of telling stories in which unnamed people call him Sir. And through my fact checking, I've found that almost all Sir stories are false in some way. The word Sir is, is a tell, like in poker. Now, there's a subset of Sir story that involves crying people. These are usually big, burly, tough, muscular, strong, central casting men who, in private, in some setting, approach Trump, call him Sir, and then profusely thank him while crying for saving the country or saving their life. Now, these are hard to fact check because he situates most of them backstage or in places where there are no witnesses. But in this case, the waters of the United States signing, we actually have video. This, this was an event that was filmed by the White House and others. And, and when you watch the video, you, you see that no one was crying at all. People were smiling, people were happy. And so this is completely made up. Yes, sir. So here's another claim from today, watch. We're now energy independent. Who would have thought that? That wasn't gonna happen for a long time. We've ended the war on American energy. In the process, we set off an economic boom of truly historic proportions, bringing prosperity back to cities and to towns all across America. So what is this war on energy? What is he talking about? Is this like the war on Christmas? Well, it's, it's a, it, basically. So the, the Obama administration did do more regulating of various energy sectors than the Trump administration has. They wanted to get the U.S. out of coal in particular. But energy production boomed under Obama. Um, the U.S. set records in natural gas production. We had the shale boom. Uh, it became number one in the world in petroleum production. So the idea that this was a war rather than some regulation at the margins is simply unfounded. Daniel Dale, thank you, sir.